Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day three of Inktober 2022. Today's tangle is called I See You, and it's created by Dory Peters, who is a CZT. So I'm going to show you two ways. The first way I'm going to do it is on this calendar page, and I'm going to do the very um, basic form of I See You. And then I have another larger page I'm working on where I'm adding it to other tangles I've already started. So you can get this calendar page if you would like off of my Facebook page called Let's Tangle. And I just added a second line in here so that I can put the name of the tangle each day as I do it. So I see you is a pod shape. like this and then we create that exact same shape inside but the opposite way you can see it's already looking like an eye and then we aura that shape I'm just gonna put two lines in there on that side and then two lines this way Now we do the same shape that we started with, which is a seed pod going this way. I hope this is not getting blurry on you. So I do it this way. Sorry about that. And then I aura it. One, two, one, two, if you can fit two, otherwise just one. And then we do the seed pod the opposite way with an aura in there. So that is I see you. I'm going to do it one more time. Seed pod the opposite way. Aura. Aura. And then we make the seed pod the opposite way with an aura. Just like that. All right, now I'm gonna to switch to my larger piece of paper. And this is a nine by 12 piece of watercolor paper. And I'm gonna to switch to a larger or thicker pen called the Micron PN, which is plastic nib. And as you can see, I already have day one, which was rain, and day two, which was Del Y. I think that's what it was called, Del Y. And now I'm going to do day three, which is I see you. I promise you I have no plan. I just take this paper and start sketching. So let's see. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to make that seed pod. And then I'm going to make a seed pod the opposite way in the center. So cool looking. And then I'm going to aura that two times on each side. And this seed pod goes left to right, so this one's going to go up and down. And aura. And if I can fit one more in there, I'm going to do that. Okay, that is I see you. So now what I like to do on this larger piece of paper is do some variations of it. So I'm going to do another one right here. And all of these tangles are meant to be a starting point. And then you are free to add your own creative element to it. Don't ever think you have to do exactly what is shown. So I've got my little pods getting smaller and smaller. 
Okay, this is kind of a fun one to play with. So I'm gonna take the middle band here and I'm going to put some ink in, but only part way up. Then I'm gonna leave a space and put some ink this way. Only part way. And look at how that makes it look rounded and like it has a reflection. So I'm gonna do the middle band of this one. A little bit of ink on each side. And it kind of rounds it out. Let's see if I can do it on these little ones in here. That way. And that way. And I don't really have room in the middle, but I am going to darken in that last little seed pod. Look at how different that looks than the first one I made. Okay, I'm going to do another one. See if I can fit one in here somewhere. Um, what do I want to do? I'll do like a baby one right here. Okay, do a little pod that way. One, two, one, two. And a pod that way. That's all I have room for. And now in these, I'm just going to color in the whole band in the middle. And the whole band in the middle this way. I've got this empty spot here. And I've kind of decided that orbs are my thing for this um, tile. I'm just going to put in these little orbs whenever I have an empty space. See how that fills that up there? You can also put an orb right here. And fill in that space. I like how that looks. All right, I'm going to do another large one up here, opposite way, aura, aura. I guess I didn't make it that big. And I'm going to do one this way. And try to fit in a tiny one in there. Didn't have a lot of room. And then in this middle band, I'm going to put orbs. And I'm going to fill in those empty spots around it. And in the middle band over here. Putting in orbs. Okay, now because I like to aura things, I'm going to aura all around this piece. It doesn't mean I can't go back and add more. I just like to do that. I'm going to put an orb in here. Like that. I'm also going to take my pencil today. I'm going to do a little bit of shading. So this one right here looks kind of flat. If I take my pencil and I put some graphite inside this little pod shape, and then if I put it on the inside of that pod shape, I take my tortillon and I blend it, which means I'm just going to smudge it a little bit. Look at how deep that makes it look. You can also add a little bit to the outside. And let's see if that makes it look a little bit more rounded and not so flat. Look at that, doesn't that look so cool? It makes me wanna do all the rest of them also. So some of my tangles, I'm going to be doing the um, shading, but not all of them. We'll see how the days go. Just 
giving that a little bit of a rounded feel. Okay, and there's my three tangles so far. I hope you have fun with this video. I think I'm going to add a couple more, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.